Hello, my name is Lawrence and I'm going to show you how to make a one frame picture into lots of animation frames so you just sprite through your games. I use Construct Free and it's uh, something I use quite frequently. I also use Do Interactive stuff as well with it. It's quite a good tool to use to be honest but um yeah tutorial this is to show you how to use i already said that okay so let's just get on with it let's talk in all right first of all we got a picture uh this is my christmas adventure game i'm making and i went for this as you can tell uh, you can't see it at the moment so I chose this one it's for my um, up-and-coming Christmas platform game I'm making and uh, I chose this because the legs are separate as you can tell there's two legs quite wide apart and also the hands are in different directions that will come into later anyway so i picked that one for quite a few reasons but yeah make sure you pick a picture that's with the legs apart not joined together and um arms up in the air try not to pick pictures that are connected unless you're doing a shoulder shoulder so shoulder shoulder can't say the, the the word you know army man and uh so make sure you pick a picture that's got two arms in the air not in the sideways basically because you don't want it connected anyway so i chose that picture next i go to um i chose this site remove background or remove bg is a good site i've been using it for years now and it always does a trick and uh i press pass url because you can post url instead of copying and paste instead of i'm um, sorry i meant uh, saving the picture but i copy the link so i do that again so i think i did that quite quick I copy image link okay so I copy com image link and I go to URL in the remove background and press paste okay let it do its magic okay so I lost the background so I press oh yeah and on the First of all, you got to check what sprite, because I use templates, so you got to check what sprite image they use. It could be anything from um, 16 by 16 to 32 to 32 to 64 by 64 or any of the above for any large uh, sprite. A sprite, by the way, is the main characters, the enemies, what you see in the game, basically. They call them sprites. I don't know if they call that sprites in uh, Construct Free. I think they actually call it in game. I used to have, um, I can't remember what it's called now, Game Station or something like that. I can't remember, but it's another good program. But I like to use um, no non-coding. So basically, you can use it without no coding. It's blocked. Uh, it's easy to use once you get the hang of it I suppose but yeah it is more better than uh, coding less typing and less errors basically go back to GIMP alright in GIMP now because I use GIMP for all my things some people use Adobe you can use Adobe but I like to use GIMP as it's quite a free software and that is quite useful and uh, stuff I can make stuff with or stuff I can make things with and yeah I like to use that more than Adobe but you can use Adobe I don't know the shortcuts for Adobe so uh, this would be a GIMP and Windows tutorial sorry if you're on Mac 
because I don't know Mac. But um, yeah, so in GIMP now, uh, make sure you have the right sprite size. This one's 100 by 100, but it could be 16 by 16, 32 by 32, 64 by 64, or this odd one, which is 100 by 100. Not usually the, the, uh, the actual size for a sprite, but uh, anyway. <laughs> So basically I press Control X to get rid of the background because you want a transparent background and then I go back to the uh, download uh, I go back to the transparent picture I just made transparent and I right click and I copy image and I go back to GIMP Then I press Control V to paste it into it. And if it goes weird like this does, you go to Windows, Dockable Dialog, Layers, and you should go back to Layers. And then I go Control C, to, uh, sorry, Shift C to scale. So that's Shift C to scale. Then I press Control and scroll on my mouse out a bit so I can see the outline of the actual frame make it into a uh, actual size make sure it's kind of the exact same size as what it was in the game I use construct free I don't know if I said but I use construct free for all my stuff I use uh, so there you go so basically what you do is from here now you scaled it on a transparent background you go to your free select or your lasso and you just cut round the arms and then you press control c control x control v okay let me do that one more time i'll do it a bit slower now once it's shift once you draw around the arm you press control c to copy Control X to cut and Control V to paste it back into it because you want to actually make it um, attack detach from the other from that you want to actually make it detach from the body so you want to do that with the other arms and also the legs which I'll just do quickly. So control C, control X, control V. Oh, make sure on the, the same layer, you've got to be actually on the actual layer. Control X, control V, control C. I'm not even going to do that anyway. So now as you can see now, the arms are now detached. I do the same for the legs. You want to just get the legs, not the body. Anything orange you don't actually want, you just want the leg itself. Control C, Control X, Control V. Oh, I'm on the different layer. Control C, Control X, Control V, and do it, as you can see now is detached. Do it for the other one.
control C, control X, control V. Oh, I'm doing it again. I'm not on the right layer. Control C, control X, control V. Right, now basically all the arms and legs are attached. If I moved them now, they would be de-attached. Which now I'm going to move all you have to do. Which now all you have to do is just rotate the different angles for each part I just cut you know something like that Just move it around, maybe cut bits off if you don't need it. Like I just done. I won't do the whole thing because I already did it. I'll show you what it looks like after. I'll just rotate it to show you. Something like that, you know. Looks like he's walking. And also, you can move the arms around. You make about nine to ten frames just moving it around. I would save that now as a frame and then I would move it again. Like. Like that, you know, just move it round. It doesn't matter if it does look a bit weird because you can always straighten it out later on. Alright, once you've got those frames, about 9 to 10 frames, just moving the arms back and forth, up and down in different angles. Make sure, like I said, you've got a transparent background because you need to save it as a transparent background. As a PNG, you have to save it as a PNG. Okay, the next bit is you go into Pixelator. It's a good uh, web, it's a good software to use for turning in, turning pictures, normal pictures into pixelation art work. So uh, this is Pixelator, it's free to use. I'll probably put a link to that as well in the description in case you want to use it. But yeah, all you do is you pull it in. I'll just show you move the sidebars up and down or you move the uh, slider up and down I usually go for two or three to make it pixelated this is what it looks like at number one I could have left it like that but I wanted more of a pixelation I wanted more of a pixelation look so I went for what did I go for two or three so I went for number two. There you go, number two. 
and I just move these sliders up and down, mess about with the uh, outline, mess about with the outline. There's outline now, make it a different color. You can choose different outlines. Outside, inside, left, left side, side in, side out, none. And transparent, I tend to leave that as it is, to be honest. Um, but smoothing, smoothing, illustrations, I can't read that. And yeah, I tend to mess about with them. And uh, the top one, pixelator factor, which is the main button, or the main slider to make it pixelated or non-pixelated depending on how far you slide it up it'll probably be a blur by the time it gets to 8 top max so yeah so that's that and I use that to make it into pixelation art after I transparent it and move it up and down then I then I do, uh, then I convert it for each frame, for each, I said 9 to 10, so 10 frames in total, I just press that and go through the whole lot, until this is the final project, I'll just go to That's my uh, default or idle state. So, yeah, that's my idle state basically. And this is my run. A little better in the actual thingy. That's how far, that's as far as I got so far. Default and run. I got to jump full wall, die, double jump, long jump, 